It's time for the Geo Challenge of the Month. It's April. Let's go cashing. No, wait. COVID-19. We can't go cashing. What are we going to do? That next on Geocaching with Simroll. It's April. It's time for the Geo Challenge of the Month. So this month, something a little different. Because a lot of people are locked inside their houses or can't go out and geocache, Josh and Lisa decided to make this one the challenge to solve a mystery cache, a solid puzzle cache. So I have just such a cache over here. It's uh, one of the hides of the uh, merch bonus ca caches I haven't yet solved. Um, the cache, of course, is uh, unavailable because it's on a trail, but the challenge is just to solve the puzzle, not to go find it. So we're, uh, we will try to find this at a later date, but let's try to solve it. So all the rage around here are these uh, jigsaw puzzles. So, and they use this uh, GG um, site to uh, do the puzzles. So this is a pine cone. It's 500 pieces. 36 people have solved it. Best time being two hours and 37 minutes. Don't think I'll do it in two. Uh, they only list the top ten. So. The tenth person at best time is four hours and forty-one minutes. So if anybody did it in five, six hours, it's not listed here out of the thirty-six solves. So you know there are more. So let's uh, go into the puzzle here. She's just cutting it up. And there we go. All the pieces here. What I like to do is uh, sort these pieces out by uh, type. There's like the top pieces. And that one has three nibs and a knob. Or knob and a nib or however you like to put it. So I'll put these all in a row and I'll show you once I get more solved how this works out for me. So we'll be back uh, once we get a little farther in the puzzle. Okay so show me uh, show you uh, my progress now. Uh, we're about an hour and 50 minutes into the puzzle. And hour and 51 minutes actually. And we got the uh, outside done. And the first top row. So something I like to do with these puzzles is, like I said, I put all the different pieces in rows. Then I'll just move the puzzle to whatever piece that we need to find. And since this one needs a nib on both the left and the right, I can just move it straight down anything that looks close. No luck there. So let's move her over to this. And these, this puzzle, if it's close, will snap into place like that. Sometimes you get lucky, and when you're moving up the row, another piece will connect 
to it on the side. So we'll move on to the uh, finished puzzle next. Okay, four hours and 29 minutes into the puzzle and another day and we're still going. So getting narrower and narrower. My uh, complete rows are getting smaller and smaller. So we'll keep going. Alrighty, we're getting close. And a couple more pieces. A couple more pieces. Those should fit, right? Here's one of this one. Ah. One of those left. Okay, where'd it go? There. Aha. And last piece, 636. And we get the puzzle coordinates. So I'll just copy those down into uh, the uh, cache page and it's all complete. Okay, so that's how to solve a jigsaw puzzle. And you're thinking, gee, I'd like to make one of these. How hard is it? Simmerable? Well, it's not too hard. So basically, you go to the jiggy, jiggy d, jig, g, die <laughs> website here. Uh, make an account because you'll need an account. And I suggest if you're doing any of these puzzles, make accounts. That way, if you exit the puzzle, have to exit the puzzle, you um, save your process as you go along so you can come back to it. If you don't have an account on here, you'll, if you close or end or you miss something or anything, you'll have to start all over again. So, along with the account, it'll save your progress. So, create an account and then you just want to create a puzzle. So, uh, all you need to do is upload an image and we can uh, just grab something out of uh, my uh, file section here. So let's say we want to do a puzzle of the Cedo. So there we go. So then you get the choice of how many pieces you want. So it starts off at 9 here and then goes down and you can make this up to 64. The higher the res pitcher, the higher you can go. So with that 500 puzzle, you can do that. And all you do is go create. And then it's pretty much done. And then you wanna you can put a description in you know puzzle. Uh, show message on completion. So in here you can put your chords for the final. Yada yada yada. So once people complete the puzzle they'll get this message. Uh, you don't need to publish it on the site. And then you uh, just go save. So now you want to share it. 
you can go to the embed and it will give you the HTML code right here to embed in the geocaching page. So you just make sure the source is set to uh, HTML, copy and paste that in, it'll put a nice little picture in your um, cache page of the puzzle that you need to solve. And then just make up the cache page um, with uh, fake coordinates and your real coordinates and a little write-up of what the puzzle's about and post the link in there. So I've done quite a few of these uh, puzzles myself. Uh, an each snake one, which is a lot of white, has 540 pieces, uh, a lot of swearing at me on that one. A few easier ones for uh, our uh, road trip barbecue uh, poker run put out caches for that and then I have a letter Santa letterbox one and I tried making a harder one with spider web here and it actually got solved in two hours and I was thinking that oh, it would take much longer than that the H and egg one the best time was three hours and 48 minutes so that's it for this video thanks to uh, Josh and Lisa for uh, putting on the uh, Geo Challenge of the month and hopefully things are better next month and we can get out and actually find some caches for the video. So till next time, cache you later, cache you on the trails.